We have breaking news here on SportsCenter coming out of Washington where the Washington football team is releasing quarterback Dwayne Haskins after a, a series of on-field and off-field issues. That, according to what sources are telling ESPN. Former first-round pick actually selected 15th overall in the 2019 draft. He was benched in the fourth quarter of Sunday's loss at home to the Panthers. And Ron Rivera saying earlier today that Taylor Heineke would start next week if regular starter Alex Smith is not healthy. So Dwayne Haskins demoted on the depth chart seemingly at the behest of Ron Rivera. And now news coming out of Washington that Dwayne Haskins will be released. Let's bring back Jeff Saturday for more on this. And, and Jeff, you, you see this sort of dizzying spiral here of a guy who was selected 15th overall in 2019, given an opportunity on the field. There were some off-field issues as well recently. And now this move, what's your reaction to how quickly this has come together? Yeah, Ron Rivera is not messing around, man. I mean, listen, when 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 you talk about uh, performance on the field, that's one issue. When you talk about distractions off the field, and then you pair that with the type of performance he put on on Sunday, um, Ron Rivera is just look. He's going to move on, and and you know he's kind of got that old school mentality, man. He's he's a he is a players first coach. You call him players coaches. I understand that, but man, when he doesn't feel like a guy is bought in, he he is not afraid to to make a move and make a change and it's disappointing I know where Haskins where his mind was thinking that they could build in and kind of play under Alex Smith but I, I'm assuming all of this truly stems from the distractions in the locker room we know about the COVID issues and, and mm -hmm. what happened last week and, and not wearing a mask those kinds of things from the guy who you expect to ultimately run your franchise just become too large of a burden for a team like the Washington football team to carry and he's seen what Chase Young right think about Chase Young on the other side of the ball I think they just put a C on his chest right they they just made this guy a captain this late in the season so yeah. it's kind of a tale of two different you know rookies right a rookie this year and a rookie last year are two high picks one's a captain that gets stripped of it one's a, ca a captain made late it just shows you the difference and, and Ron Rivera just decided it was time to move on and two guys who go back to Ohio State together right in, in, in Chase Young and and Dwayne Haskins and that C that's on Chase Young's chest comes off of the jersey of Dwayne Haskins. We're rolling this video here from this season. Right. From this season of Dwayne Haskins with that captaincy, and that was stripped, and now is seemingly on his way out of Washington after this news that he's going to be released. I want to ask you about distractions off the field for Haskins, not from Haskins, but for him. Given the locker rooms you've been around, when you see a guy who's drafted to his hometown, I mean, this is where he played his high school ball before going to right. Ohio State. How difficult can that be for someone that young with that much responsibility, but also with that much going on around him in an area that he knows so well? Yeah, it's professional football for a reason, right, Randy? Like, you, you have to learn to build, uh, you, you know, have, have insulators, right, where, where where you can't be gotten to unless it's on your terms and in and, 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 and the best-case scenarios. I mean, listen, I can remember Peyton Manning, and, and he didn't leave Indy, right? I mean, he stayed tight-knit. He could have easily went back to Tennessee mm -hmm. or Louisiana or New Orleans, you name it, right? He could have went anywhere. But what did he decide to do? He decided to build relationship with his teammates. Aaron Rodgers is no different in Green Bay. I mean, these guys understand what, a, what team development truly looks like. There can't be a lot of outside voices, Randy, and it's disappointing when you see a young kid make these type of mistakes because he was given opportunities and then given more opportunities. And so I'm, I'm hoping that he learns from this. If somebody else gives him an opportunity or a chance that he learns, listen, there are some things that you can't deal with when you're trying to play professional football. It is a full-time job. It is early, You're raising, you know, you're getting up early and going to bed late, focusing and studying on a one thing in particular. He just hadn't learned that quite yet. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.